Thank you. You will come again. Uh, I made an appreciation to join this channel. Uh, this lesson is a continuation from the previous uh, uh, lesson one. Uh, so uh, we uh, been discussed different concepts about uh, uh, the topography of Ethiopia. And please just uh, uh, take take a highlight for uh, the previous uh, lesson uh, about the chapter three. So uh, we discussed uh, the Ethiopian topography with the results of uh, the uh, combined forces of uh, both uh, endogenic and exogenic forces, uh, the present form of Ethiopia, the result uh, what the result of the uh, Sinozoic era, especially we discussed, and uh, Ethiopia, just Ethiopia, the Ethiopia topography characterized by diversity, uh, starting from the depression to the highland. We discussed, though, uh, you can say this is the lowest depressions, and uh, this one uh, also the uh, western highland, or we can say sometimes northwestern highlands. Oh, this is uh, the southeastern highland. Uh, the separations of those highlands uh, due to the formations of the uh, Great East African Rift Valley. Uh, our Rift Valley was part of uh, the, uh, the uh, Great East African Rift Valley. So uh, our Rift Valley stretched from the southwestern to the northeastern direction, uh, from this direction uh, to this, uh, up to this, near to the Lake Abbey we discussed before. Uh, so uh, we discussed Ethiopia uh, in uh, the water tower of East Africa and uh, the roof of Africa we discussed. So don't forget those basic concepts. Uh, and uh, what we discussed uh, additionally, the characteristics of Ethiopian highland and the lowlands. We discussed uh, there are different elements uh, are there. Uh, so uh, please highlight those concepts, what we discussed in the first lesson. Uh, and uh, today, this session, uh, in this session, we'll uh, try to see uh, the physiographic divisions of Ethiopia. Uh, this is, uh, I told you, uh, this uh, uh, concept is a continuation from the first lesson, uh, from the chapter three about the Ethiopian topography. Please uh, take at, uh, pl please give attention, and uh, I'll brief what the detail is here. So, uh, the Ethiopian topography, uh, we do have uh, three physiographic divisions. Uh, physiographic divisions we do have. Uh, I think uh, mostly I told you uh, the Ethiopian top, the present topography where. Uh, the formation uh, of uh, or the result of the Sinozoic era uh, with the combined forces, both endogenic and exogenic forces. So, due to that uh, situation, uh, due to the, the internal forces or the endogenic processes, there was a formation of the, the Rift Valley. So, due to that of uh, the formation uh, of the Rift Valley, the Ethiopian highlands, it, it was divided into to, uh, or it dissected into uh, two uh, different directions. So uh, we, so uh, in this uh, case, we do have uh, two separated uh, uh, highland division. The one is the Western Highland, the other is the Southeastern Highland, or uh, sometimes the Western Highland, sometimes we say the Northwestern Highland. So, uh, so in terms of this division, uh, we do have three divisions uh, from the materials, the Western Highlands and the Lowland, we do have, and the Southeastern Highland and associated Lowlands, we can say, and the Rift Valley. So we do have uh, those uh, three divisions. Uh, uh, though this division is uh, already the separations of the Ethiopian highland uh, is made uh, by uh, the formations of the, uh, uh, the uh, Rift Valley. So you can see uh, the Ethiopian Rift Valley here is during the tertiary period, this event where happened at the land of Ethiopia. So uh, due to uh, this situation, the Ethiopian highland, it's dissected into two, the Western highland, and the southeastern highland, uh, and also the others. There, there are others uh, physiographic division we do have, 
This one, uh, the Western Lowland is associated, the Western Highland and Associated Lowlanders, we can see. The Southeastern Highland Associated Lowland is here. And this one, uh, the Rift Valley Division, those are uh, our physiographic division. Uh, you can uh, please, please take into account those concepts. So uh, uh, let us start from the Western Highlands and the Lowlanders. When we talk about the Western Highlands, uh, the Western Highland is uh, just, uh, uh, it, it found west of the Rift Valley. Uh, from the picture, you can, uh, uh, you can uh, get uh, a simple understanding. Does, uh, the Rift Valley stretch from southwestern to the northeast eastern direction. So uh, the Western Highland is uh, found west of the Rift Valley. So uh, the Western Lowland from the country uh, size, just it accounts 44%. Uh, this one, uh, you can see uh, this is. Uh, so uh, the Western Highland, uh, I think, uh, from the Western escarpment of the Rift Valley, uh, from the Western escarpment of status from stretch from the uh, Western escarpment of the Rift Valley up to uh, the Sudan and the South Sudan border. Uh, uh, this region just further subdivided into two, uh, into uh, just there are uh, four group of islanders and four group of uh, lowlanders. So we'll see the four group of island, uh, it, uh, it accounts 76. 0.3%, uh, the lowlanders, it account 23.7%. So uh, we'll see uh, those divisions. For instance, uh, the Western Highland, uh, it uh, consisted the uh, plateau of Tigray, the North Central Massif, and uh, the Shuan Plateau and the Southwestern Highland. Those are the group of uh, the Western Highland. So starting from the Tigran Plateau, uh, the Tigran Plateau, uh, it extends from the Tekezi in the south uh, and to the northwestern, uh, it extends up to the Marab, Marab River. So uh, this is, uh, it accounts 13%, 1-3% from the physiographic division. Uh, so uh, it is an elongated highland, uh, the highland which is starting from most of uh, the highland, uh, it is elevation is averagely from 1,000 to 2,000 meters, uh, this one. And uh, there are also peak mountains in the uh, Tigran Plateau. So, uh, but the most uh, features of the Tigran Plateau is uh, there are a uh, long period of denudation. There was a long period of denudation in the uh, highlands of Tigray. So, uh, most of the Tigran uh, plateaus, they were uh, uh, beat uh, or exposed for a massive erosion. So uh, uh, they are uh, massively eroded. We can say massively eroded uh, plateaus in the uh, Tigray. So there are gentle hills, there are rugged topography and ambas in the Tigray. So the most uh, uh, peak mountains in the Tigray, there are Tibet. Uh, and Ambalagi and Asimba, those are uh, the most peak which is found in the Tigray Plateau. So uh, these are the main character, the main mountains uh, uh, found in the Tigray Plateau. You can see uh, this is. Uh, the North Central Massif, uh, this is uh, the North Central Massif, the largest in the Western Highland we can say. Uh, so the North Central Massif, uh, it is uh, stretched from uh, the Abai Gorge, uh, Abai Gorge in the south and uh, Takaze and uh, up to up to uh, Abai Gorge from the south, Abai Gorge extend to the uh, Takaze in the north. So 58% uh, of the region is uh, an altitude more than uh, 2000 meters, you can see. Most of uh, the uh, west, the North Central Massif, 58%, uh, averagely 58% of its land is greater than 2000 meters. So uh, in terms of uh, coverage, it is the next, next to the Shuan Plateau, uh, uh, the uh, second highest physiographic division in terms of uh, next to the Shuan Plateau, the second highest physiographic division. So. 
uh, you can see uh, this one. The region consists of uh, this region. It consisted the uh, mountains of uh, Gondar, uh, Gojam, and uh, Wollo. So uh, there are the Western group from Gojam and Wol Gondar group. The Western groups are uh, Gondar and Gojam, and the Eastern group, the Wollo group. So uh, for instance, <clears throat> in terms of uh, the numbers of peaks, which is found in the North Central Massif, uh, uh, in terms of this number, uh, just Ethiopia has more than 26 uh, mountains, which has uh, a height greater than 4,000 meters. From this number, the 90, which is found, the 90, one nine uh, greater than 4,000 meters, which is found in the North Central Massif. Uh, so uh, imagine uh, many of uh, the Ethiopian mountain is found in, uh, um, uh, in, in the North Central Massif. In terms of this elevated ground, uh, North Central Massif is the largest compared to the rest of uh, the physiographic divisions of Ethiopia. Uh, but in terms of, uh, from this physiographic division, in terms of coverage or the average elevated ground, Shoa is uh, uh, the larger or 75 or three fourths of the Shoa plateau is covered by a mountain, which is greater than 2000 meters above sea, above sea level. So, you can see this one. Uh, so uh, there are uh, the Gondar group, the Gondar mountain group, uh, uh, just particularly at the same in mountains. Uh, there are Mount Rastashin at the same in mountain. This is the Gondar group. Uh, so Mount Wainover, uh, Mount Kedusiarid, and also Mount Bwahid, uh, these are uh, found at the same, same in mountains. Uh, so uh, Rastashin is the peak of uh, the same in mountain. So, uh, those are found uh, uh, together within the within the same uh, mountain ranges within the same mountain range. Mountain Guna, uh, this is uh, from the North Gondar or Central Gondar. We can say this is from the Southern Go South Gondar. Uh, so Mount Guna is uh, the one uh, peaks uh, near to the Bratabo. Mount uh, Abu Nayosef from the Eastern group, from the Wollo group, Mount Abu Nayosef, uh, uh, this one, uh, and Mount Brahan uh, from the Choke Mountain, in the Choke Mountain system. So good, these are, uh, so, so these are uh, the groups of the North Central Massifs, uh, it consisted. So the, the Gojam group, the Gondar group, and uh, the other is the Eastern group. Uh, Godjam are uh, also part of the Semien mountain system. Some of the Choke mountain and the Raspra mountain has a system with, has a direct connection to the uh, Gondar mountain system. So uh, these are, uh, 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 I told you this one, the Gondar and Godjam is the Western uh, group and uh, the Wollo group is the Eastern. Uh, it's separated by uh, a, a, a land uh, which is uh, 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 impenetrable and deep gorges uh, are there between the Western group and the Eastern group. So or the Western and the Eastern group uh, is separated uh, by that uh, impenetrable and uh, deep gorges. And so, uh, so for a connection purpose, uh, those mountains they are connected uh, by a single Y, that Y which is called the Wadla Adelanta Bridge. Uh, so uh, this one, this bridge, uh, it was served for uh, a passing way for the peoples of Turkish, Portuguese and Italians. Uh, so uh, this one you can see. There are also the uh, uh, other group, the Shuan Plateau or the Central Highland, you can say. Uh, so the Shuan Plateau is bounded by uh, Rift Valley, uh, the Rift Valley in the east and Abai Gorge in the north, and also the Omo Gorge in the south. Uh, it is bordered by straight from the Omo to the south, and uh, it lies uh, east of the Rift Valley, and uh, at the northern, which is uh, up to the Abai Gorge, it extends up to the Abai Gorge. So this plateau is uh, just from the physiographic division, uh, it accounts 11%. Uh, uh, so Shoa Plateau is the smallest from the uh, uh, this physiographic division from the Western Highlands, the smallest in terms of percentage, 11%. Uh, for instance, the Tigray is 13%. Uh, the 
uh, Western Highlands uh, 58% greater than from stance, you can see. And uh, uh, the South Western Highland is 22.7%. So in terms of uh, percentage, the Western, uh, the North Central Massif is the, high, the highest, the first one. Uh, and the second is um, the uh, Southwestern Highland in terms of percentage. And the third, the Tigran Plateau. And the fourth is uh, the Shuan Plateau. So uh, from the uh, uh, Western group, the Shuan Plateau is the smallest, but in terms of this elevated ground, Shuan Plateau is uh, greater than uh, the other uh, uh, physiographic groups, physiographic groups. So nearly, for instance, three fourths of the uh, Shoah Plateau, uh, the from the total land mass of the Shoah, uh, it covered by those areas which covered by uh, by uh, the, the 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 peaks which is greater than two thousand meters. So in terms of this elevated ground, Shoah is the largest, next. Uh, the uh, 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 North Central Massif. So uh, it has therefore the larger proportions of elevated ground. Uh, so you can take this one. Uh, Shua Plateau has uh, a larger elevated ground compared to the uh, others uh, mountain group, the other uh, physiographic division groups. Uh, so the Shua Plateau is drained by, uh, drained by, uh, so uh, by the tributaries of Abai, Omo, and Awash. Uh, Abai and Omo and Awash. So uh, uh, please take a highlight on these concepts. Uh, and the other, the Shua Plateau, we can say sometimes there are uh, an extensive uh, flat topped, uh, topped uh, uplands, a true plateau, uh, or we can say the Shua Plateau is. Uh, it has has a true plateau or an extensive flat top of the mountains. Uh, the highest mount, the typical examples here, uh, the highest mountain is Mount Abu Yemida, and uh, this is uh, the height greater than 4,000 meters above sea level, uh, found in the northern shore. Northern shore. Mount Gragi uh, in the south uh, uh, is. I think it it it, it has an elevation uh, three thousand seven hundred twenty one meters above sea level. Uh, so this is uh, the western uh, highlands. And the fourth uh, group of uh, the fourth uh, mountains group, or uh, from the physiographic division, the southwestern highland group. Uh, this uh, consists of the highlands of this uh, uh, highlands consisted. Uh, the highlands of Olega, Ilbabor, Jim, Jimma, uh, Kafa, Gamgofa. So it extends from the Abai Gorge in the north, uh, and uh, it extends to, to, to the southern, uh, to southward up to uh, Chavahar. Uh, it accounts 22.7% from the physiographic division, so the second highest in terms of this percentage. Uh, second largest in the western highlands, as you can see. About uh, here, you can see 70% uh, of the mountain, uh, it is area which is uh, from 1,000 up to 2,000 meters altitude. Uh, this is the typical uh, here, you can see the typical feature for this uh, highland is uh, found in the wettest part of Ethiopia. This is uh, most of the mountain, uh, southwestern mountain is uh, found in the wettest uh, part of Ethiopia, you, you can see. This area, uh, this uh, the southwestern highland drained by uh, there are Dabus, the Desa, uh, and Baro, uh, Akobo, and Give and Omo rivers. They are passing this, uh, through this highland. So uh, the the highest peak in this highland is Mount Gogi. Mount Gogi, you can uh, this uh, uh, yeah. So uh, uh, those are uh, the uh, Western Highlanders. Uh, and uh, now we're uh, also uh, uh, discuss about uh, the Western Lowland, the Western Lowland, the associated uh, Lowlanders uh, to the Western Highlanders. So uh, those are uh, just this, uh, the Western Lowlanders, which is straight from the Northwestern part of Ethiopia up to, uh, Gamgofa, uh, southern border, the southern border to, of Ethiopia or southwestern Ethiopia. So, uh, 
uh, it makes 11% from this region, uh, from the physiographic uh, division. Uh, just, uh, just it accounts uh, 11%, you can, uh, this one. Uh, the uh, elevation is uh, from, starting from 500 uh, meters above uh, sea level up to 1,000 uh, meters above sea level. So this one. Uh, so the Western uh, lowland uh, has, uh, it has uh, four divisions. The one is uh, the Takazi lowland, the other is the Abaid Nida lowland, the Baro lowland, Give lowland uh, from the uh, north to the south, Give lowland. So uh, uh, here, uh, with the exceptions of Ornstan, the typical characteristics for the Western lowland is, uh, with the exceptions of the Barrow lowland, uh, uh, those areas are arid and semi-arid climatic condition. Why? Because those areas uh, with the typical of Barrow Akobo areas, uh, uh, those areas are all year round rainfall region. So uh, they have, uh, a rainfall situation greater than eight months, or we can say all year round rainfall. So uh, those areas are not far from the uh, uh, from the wettest, from it is wettest means uh, there are, there are a precipitation, there are rainfall situation uh, near to here. Uh, so, uh, but the rest, uh, the Takazi lowland, the Abidinidar and the uh, Give Omo lowlands. They, uh, they have a climatic conditions of arid and semi-arid climatic condition. So uh, you can see. Uh, the mostly uh, people who are dominantly here, uh, the most of the economic activity, people who, who, who are living uh, uh, in the lowlanders, in the Western lowlanders, they practiced uh, pastoral and semi-pastoral economic way of, way of life. They lead uh, this uh, way of life. Uh, rain -fed agriculture is rain -fed agriculture is more difficult in the western lowlands. Uh, uh, irrigation uh, agriculture is highly feasible uh, in this lowland. Uh, you can see this one. Uh, so uh, the Barrow lowland it has an extensive uh, flat area uh, which is suitable for uh, the mechanized agriculture. Uh, you can uh, uh, this one. Uh, so uh, the the other uh, lowlanders uh, that is give uh, Omo lowlanders uh, who, uh, here is uh, which include the lower give Omo valley and the more the northern sections of Turkana basin. It extends from uh, Barakobo up to uh, the uh, Turkana uh, up to the to, to up to it extend to uh, uh, north of Turkana Turkana or. Uh, the lake which is uh, near to uh, at the borders of Ethiopia and Kenya. So uh, extend from the north Turkana up to the uh, upper uh, Baro Akobo areas, uh, the Give Omo lowlands, it extend, it covered that area. So uh, structurally, the uh, structurally, uh, the Give Omo uh, lowlands uh, structurally, which is uh, 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 structural, which is belongs to the uh, uh, Rift Valley area, but uh, uh, the group is uh, uh, from uh, which is uh, uh, which is grouped into the Western Lowlands, the Western Lowlands. Uh, so. Uh, in terms of this geographic location, it is grouped into the Western Lowland, but in terms of uh, structural, uh, it is a structural division belongs to the Rift Valley. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is the Give uh, Omo Lowlands. So this is structural belong to the Rift Valley. Uh, so oh, there are uh, different situations here, you can see. Uh, the other uh, physiographic divisions of Ethiopia, the southeastern highlands. Uh, this southeastern highlands has uh, and associated lowlands. Uh, the southeastern highlands and associated lowlands. This is the second division, physiographic divisions of Ethiopia. So, uh, this southeastern highlands, uh, which is east of southeast of uh, the Rift Valley, which is lies or found southeast of the Rift Valley. So uh, 
it has two group of mountains. Uh, the one is the Aristi Valley Sidamo Highlands and the Harargi Plateau, uh, this one. So uh, this is uh, found uh, east of the lake region, you can. Uh, and uh, they are located in southwestern sections of the physiographic region. Uh, this is, they are located in the southwestern sections of uh, the physiographic region, southwestern location, southwestern location. Uh, they make, uh, in terms of this percentage, 28.5% of the area of the region. Uh, uh, from this one, 62% 60, uh, of the southeastern highlands, just uh, you can, uh, from this one, 62% uh, uh, of the southeastern highlands. So uh, the southeastern highlands uh, from the uh, southeastern division, it accounts from the southeastern highland valley the RC, Bali and Sidam Highlands, it accounts 62% from uh, the 100%. Uh, the 38% uh, I think the Haradge Plateau from the 100. So uh, from this one is 28%, 28.5%. From the physiographic division it covered, uh, from this 28.5%, if we consider uh, this one is a 100, just uh, the uh, RC Valley and Sidam Highlands, it covered 62%. The rest is uh, covered by the Hararge Plateau or 38%. The RC Highlands, for instance, uh, Mount Kaka, uh, this one, the RC and the Bali Mountain, which is separated by Wabishabali River, uh, the Bali Mountain, which is separated from the Sidama by Ganali River. Uh, so this one is the general. <laughs> The RC Highland, it includes, uh, for instance, there are Mount Kaka, Bada, and Chalalo. Kaka, Bada, and Chalalo. These are the typical uh, mountain which is found, belongs to the RC mountains. Uh, so this is uh, already I mentioned, uh, the uh, Bali Highland separated from the RC by Wabishabali River. Uh, the highest mountain peaks of the Bali, Bali is, uh, there are Trudumtu, there are Mount Batu, oh, here is. Uh, so uh, this uh, we discussed before. The Sidama Highlands uh, and the Bali, uh, Sidama and the Bali Mountains or Highlands separated by the Ganali Rivers, I told you. Uh, Jamjam Plateau is the typical example for uh, the uh, 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 Sidama Mountains. Uh, this is, uh, it occupied the southwestern corner of this region, southwestern parts of uh, the region. Uh, the Sidama. So uh, you can, uh, the typical rivers, which is uh, rise from the Arsi and Bali mountain, uh, the main river are Wabishabali and Ganali. Uh, this is, so uh, this is uh, the typical, also there are uh, caves here uh, near to the Bali mountains. Uh, uh, this uh, cave, uh, which is called Sophomore Cave, uh, well, yeah, Sophomore Cave. So, there are rivers also passing through the sophomore cave. This river, which is called uh, Web Rivers. Uh, this is uh, the sophomore cave, which is found uh, near to the Valley Mountains. Don't forget those concepts. The Aragi Plateau, uh, I think uh, this is the uh, plateau is northeasterly extensions of southeastern highlands, northeasterly extension. Malat ke south eastern or the zinya north eastern extensions of the south eastern highlands. So uh, it extends from Charchar to uh, Charchar Highlands uh, to Jijiga into the northern. So uh, it make um, I told you it makes thirty eight percent from uh, this physiograph from the south eastern highlands. Uh, so uh, from the the whole physiographic division uh, seventeen point four percent uh, it accounts uh, this one uh, so the typical example for this mountain is garamuleta uh, that is 3381 meters above sea level uh, you can see th those concepts so um, now uh, the time for talking about the south uh, eastern lowlands which is associated to the south eastern highlands so uh, this is the most extensive lowlands. Uh, it included the uh, uh, the uh, lowlands of Borana, Elkir, and Ogaden, or we can say uh, the plains which it consisted the Wabishabale plain and Ganali plain. The Wabishabale it accounts 
uh, 60%, the Ganale plane, it account 40%. So uh, this is, uh, uh, it makes up uh, fr fr from the physiographic region, uh, this uh, lowland, it account 54%. Or uh, from uh, the size of the Ethiopia, uh, just uh, it account one fifth of the country, one over five, uh, 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 just uh, percent it accounted. Uh, from uh, from uh, the total size of Ethiopia, so you can see the Wabi Shabali plane. You can see sixty percent, forty percent. This one uh, and also it uh, consisted of Gadin, Elkere, and Borana lowlands. Uh, the high the height is vary from two hundred meters uh, up to one thousand five hundred uh, meters. But uh, the western highland, the western lowland, uh, starting from five. Uh, 100 meters above sea level to 1,000 meters above sea level. But in this case, 200, uh, started from 200 uh, to 1,500 uh, meters. So uh, this one. Uh, so uh, there are also, uh, uh, it, it, uh, due to that of the southeastern lowland, there, 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 there is a harsh climatic condition. So. It um, supports small uh, uh, amounts of people or small proportions of people who are living over there. So uh, very small population supported by the, the southeastern high lowlands. So there are uh, people who are practicing, uh, people who are living over there practiced uh, pastoral and semi-pastoral activities. Uh, so uh, totally to, to, to generalize uh, the uh, southeastern lowlands, uh, at the southeastern lowland, it can uh, practice rainfed agriculture, uh, rainfed agriculture possible over there, but to the western, with the exceptions of uh, Baro, uh, uh, Baro, near to Baro Akobo, it is very difficult for rainfed agriculture in the western lowland, but here is rainfed agriculture possible. Animal husbandry possible here, uh, irrigation, it is possible, irrigation for uh, mechanized agriculture for the Baro, Baro lowland, uh, it can be Baro Akobo lowland possible. Irrigation also possible for the Tekazi and up by the Nidal lowland, uh, this one. Agriculture and, uh, agriculture and perhaps exploitations of petroleum. Agriculture is also uh, the most dominant. I told you this one, rainfed agriculture or irrigation agriculture can be possible. And also uh, for the future, uh, it is, uh, also, this area is uh, a pot, uh, ha has a potential for the exploitations of natural gas and uh, petroleum. So uh, we talked uh, lots of uh, concepts regarding the uh, sedimentation process uh, during the Mesozoic era and why petroleum and natural gas uh, uh, has uh, uh, available uh, in the southeastern uh, parts of Ethiopia, especially. Uh, in the Ogadian area. So uh, don't forget those concepts that what uh, have been uh, discussed uh, before. Uh, the third uh, physiographic division is the Rift Valley division. Uh, so uh, there are uh, uh, the Rift Valley take token. Uh, I think uh, the Rift Valley just, uh, I talked uh, lots of uh, time uh, how Rift Valley were formed, was formed. Uh, so uh, due to the tectonic movement, Rift Valley were uh, was uh, were formed, were formed. Uh, so, uh, due to the tectonic movement or the tensional forces, the central part it became a fracture, uh, and that fracture land it collapsed down, and finally the Great Depression or the Rift Valley were formed. So, uh, this one, the two forces they gone into different direction. The entire part it became a uh, became collapsed. So uh, the Rift Valley were formed in this situation. So the Rift Valley extends, uh, I think the Rift Valley by itself, it has a structure of final shape, uh, means uh, uh, it is wide at the northeastern direction, but it, uh, nar it narrow when we go southward or the southwestern directions of Ethiopia. So it has a final shape, final shape. So, uh, it's uh, stretch from the southwestern Chawbahar up to the Afar areas near to the Lake Abbey. So uh, here, uh, 
uh, I think uh, the kilometer uh, in terms of the distance, uh, 1,700 kilometer in between Ethiopia and Eritrea. Uh, so uh, yeah, this area uh, from the country size, uh, it covers 80%, you can see. Uh, so uh, uh, this one is from the uh, southwestern direction to the northeastern direction. Uh, this is a straight from southwestern direction to northeastern direction. So, at the northeastern direction, it is uh, uh, it has a, a wide structure, but go to south uh, down or downward to the Chobahari areas, it is uh, narrow. The uh, distance from west to east uh, is narrow. So in this way, uh, so uh, it is made up of made up of there are roughs garbans and depressions. The Rift Valley is made up of those uh, uh, like rough garbans and depression. There are also, uh, there are also the Rift Valley has also uh, an elevation ground, uh, which is greater than 2000 meters above sea level, which is near to the lake, uh, the Rift Valley lakes, uh, this one. Uh, there are different deposition. Uh, there are volcanic rocks, fallovial deposition, lacustrine like deposition at the Rift Valley areas. So uh, the lowest depression is at the far triangle. Anyhow, uh, when we talk about uh, this division, just uh, uh, the far uh, the Rift Valley areas has three uh, divisions. Uh, so. Uh, the first one, the Afar Triangle, the second one, the Min Rift Valley, and the third one is the Chawahari area. So uh, most of the time, we uh, when we want to express the Rift Valley areas, we uh, divide uh, those uh, Rift Valley areas into three sections. The one is the Afar Triangle area, the second one, the Min Rift Valley area, and the Chawahari areas. So uh, these are uh, some of the concept is so uh, the upper triangle areas for instance uh, uh, it makes uh, 54 percent from the rift valley area 54 percent uh, so there are uh, the uh, special characteristics for the uh, upper triangle is there are uh, depressions uh, here uh, uh, there are uh, the lowest point in africa uh, which is found in the upper triangle we can see uh, so this uh, uh, depression is the most hostile environment owners, uh, which is found in the Afar Triangle, you can see. And uh, there are also, oh, the temperature is that area which has a temperature greater than 50 degrees centigrade most of the time. Uh, yeah, uh, this area mostly characterized by there are fault depressions, volcanic hills, there are volcanic hills. We told so many times there are, uh, different volcano mountains over there. Uh, so uh, we uh, discussed before, active volcanoes, volcanic ridge, lava fillets, and low uh, lava uh, uh, pl pl platforms. Platforms. So there are, for instance, uh, the lake which is found in the main Afar Triangle areas, Lake Abbey, Asal, and Afrera is here. Uh, so uh, this one. Uh, the prominent feature I told you, Danakil depression is or coversing, which is uh, a, a highest, uh, that is a highest de depression in Africa. Uh, it has, uh, it is found below 125 meters below sea level. So that is, there are also this area, which is covered by an extensive salt. This is the one uh, typical uh, character for the Afar Triangle areas. So uh, the main river uh, here is the Afar Triangle. Generally, uh, we can say hot and dry. Uh, so uh, the southern part of the Afar Triangle, which is uh, bordered by the Awash River. So the Awash River is uh, uh, is uh, a separation border for the main Rift Valley uh, to the Afar Triangle. So uh, this one. Uh, so the economic importance, people who are living over there, uh, salt extraction, irrigation, uh, Awash River is the most utilized river in Ethiopia for irrigation purpose, especially. <clears throat> uh, electric potential from the geothermal energy, uh, electric potential from the geothermal energy. These are uh, some of uh, the typical character for 
uh, the FR triangle, main triangle areas, the FR areas. The second, uh, starting from this one, the main Ethiopian Rift Valley system, it starts from uh, the uh, south of the uh, Awash River and it extends up to Chobahar. So this area is the first one, the Afar Triangle is the widest part. The, the, this one is uh, the uh, relatively long and narrow areas, long and narrow Rift Valley areas. Uh, this is, uh, uh, we can say, the narrow and uh, the longer and narrow Rift Valley areas, the main Rift Valley areas. So it extends from the Awash, from the north uh, to the south, uh, up to Chawahar, uh, up to uh, Chawahar. So uh, here you can, uh, this is uh, the main Rift Valley uh, around, uh, here you can see there are uh, the narrowest and the highest Rift Valley section you can. So uh, the narrow Y, uh, it, uh, it has an average Y is from the west to east direction is uh, uh, from uh, 50 to 80 kilometers. Uh, an elevation which has thousand uh, uh, up to two thousand meters above sea level near to the Rift Valley area. So uh, this is so this area. Uh, there are uh, different cinder cones and volcanic mountain near to the Rift Valley, the main Rift Valley areas, uh, and also uh, there are um, uh, for instance there are also uh, those are cinder cones and volcanic mountain for instance Mount Fantali. Uh, near to Adama, Bosti Goda, uh, Alatu, uh, and Lake. Uh, there are also uh, here is uh, Chebi. Uh, these are uh, some of the uh, volcanic mountain near to or uh, near to uh, the, or which is found uh, at the main Rift Valley area. As you can see, uh, there are numerous uh, lakes. The most typical feature for this uh, uh, main Rift Valley areas are. Uh, there are different Rift Valley lakes, uh, which is uh, lies uh, at uh, the main Rift Valley areas. Uh, so near to Adama, there are a lot of Rift Valley lakes, uh, Bishoftu, Hora, Babu Gaya. Uh, those are near to the Adama areas. So uh, th those lakes, they are belong to the main Rift Valley areas. And go to uh, the southward, there are Zwai, Langano, Abiyatashala. And uh, the others, uh, there are Hawasalik and Chamo and the Abia, Abia lakes, uh, near to uh, up to the console uh, areas, up to the console areas. So uh, this one, uh, this is uh, so uh, the main Rift Valley is uh, uh, mostly mostly uh, expressed in terms of uh, in terms of it is. Uh, uh, in terms of Rift Valley lakes. So from these lakes, uh, we'll see uh, there are lakes wide, the shallowest lake, and uh, Shala is the deepest from this one, and Abia is from the Rift Valley, the largest one. So uh, those lakes, they are uh, very, very, very just uh, rich in bird species and also beautiful water, uh, water uh, portions. And uh, the others uh, also, there are also different features. They have, uh, there are fumaroles and hot spring uh, uh, are there in the main Rift Valley areas. So uh, this is uh, the typical feature. Numerous lakes are here, you can see. There are, uh, most of the time, there are uh, rainfed agriculture is practiced in this area. Most of the time, rainfed agriculture is possible here. Recreational value of the lakes, yeah, recreational value. People who are living over there, uh, they can practice uh, or they can engage themselves in different economic activities like uh, rainfed agriculture, like uh, tourism, tourism. Uh, there are uh, recreational resources. They have a full potential of recreational resources. Uh, both uh, either the lakes, uh, the Rift Valley lakes, or the hot spring and fumaroles. These are a special feature, and also bird, spe uh, bird species are there. So this is the special feature for the Rift Valley areas, the main Rift Valley areas. Mm. <clears throat> so agriculture, uh, it is some streams also, uh, it is important for irrigation purpose uh, uh, for, uh, from these uh, 
main rift valley areas. Uh, geothermal energies also the others uh, potential for uh, hydroelectric power. So these are the typical feature for the main rift valley areas. Uh, the last rift valley area, the Chobahar, this one is uh, from uh, the group of uh, the rift valley. Uh, as we uh, remember, uh, the uh, main the rift valley areas uh, just uh, has three, three, three divisions. The one is the upper triangle. The second one is uh, uh, relatively narrow and long, uh, the main rift valley area. The third one is the smallest one. The Chobahari areas uh, from the console Chobahari area, it uh, straight from uh, the uh, north of Konso up to the uh, Lake Turkana area. So this is uh, you can see. So the main rift valley is separated from uh, the Chobahari area by the Konso Highlands. Konso Highlands. So uh, there are uh, broad portion and shallow depressions here. Shallow depression and broad portion at the south. Western directions of Ethiopia. The typical, uh, here is the very, uh, this is the smallest in the southernmost part of the Rift Valley, southernmost part near to Lake Turkana, north of uh, Kenya. Oh, this is. And there are uh, lakes uh, near to uh, here, uh, which is drained uh, the uh, Chaubahar Rift Valley areas. Uh, the, those are Sagan, Lake Sagan and Waito. Uh, they are impeding into uh, the Lake Turkana, Lake Turkana. So uh, this is, uh, uh, there are the marshy areas, which is found uh, at the Chobahar areas, which is drained by the Sagan and Waito, uh, Lake Waito, Waito uh, streams. <clears throat> so you can see, uh, you can see these are, uh, the physiographic regions of Ethiopia. Uh, this is the Rift Valley areas. There are small, the widest and the smallest. This one, this portion is wide and shallowest area. The Chobahar area is here. This one is from this one, the Konso Highland from the southern up to stretch to here. Uh, this around this area, around this area, this one is uh, the longest and the narrow, the narrowest. Why narrowest? Uh, it extends from 50 to uh, 80 uh, kilometers from west to uh, east direction. This one is the main rift valley areas. Uh, and these are also uh, the uh, widest part, the Afar areas, Afar triangle areas. So there are Lake Afrira. Uh, there are uh, here different lakes uh, near to here. So you can see them, we discussed before. So uh, this is the southeastern highlands. This one is the Western uh, Highland, the Western Highland. This one, the Western Highland. This one is uh, the Western Lowlands, associated lowland, the Western associated lowland. This one is Ogaden, uh, El Kher, and Borana Lowlands. Uh, this one, the Borana Lowland. So uh, those lowlands, I think the most extensive lowland, the Southeastern Lowland, the most extensive lowland. So we do have a good potential for irrigation purpose in the future. Uh, here, uh, there are Rift Valley areas, you can see. Uh, these are some of the Harargi Plateau. These are some of, uh, this is the Western Lowlands. You can see this is the Tigrayan Plateau. This is uh, near to the North Central Massif. This is the Shua Plateau. These are the Southwestern Highlands, uh, you can see. This is the Southeastern Highlands, uh, including Bali, uh, Arsi Valley and Sidamo Mountains. And the other, the Harargi Plateau is here. RRG plateau is here, so you can see. Uh, these are uh, some of the uh, physiographic regions in terms of uh, its division. This division is made uh, by the Rift Valley we discussed before. So don't forget those concepts. Uh, uh, these are some of uh, the highlights. What the next concept, uh, I think uh, this is, uh, you uh, got a very understandable point uh, before. Uh, so in terms of uh, Ethiopia has a home of uh, diversity topography. Uh, it, has, uh, a diverse, it has a diversified topography. So this diversification um, has a direct influence on the biophysical and socioeconomic conditions. So uh, for instance, uh, there are, uh, for instance, uh, in terms of this relief, we do have a highland, we do have lowland, depression, and deserts. 
So uh, for instance, the agricultural practice, it has a direct effect on the agricultural practice. People who are, uh, who are living in the highland, they have uh, uh, a small farmland is fro uh, plotus, uh, plotus. And also it is the shape is also uh, different compared to the low people who are living uh, in the lowlands. Uh, in terms of this farming sites, they are different at the highland. The highland, most of the time, uh, they have a dissected, they have a different uh, plot lands. But uh, even though those people who are living in the highland, uh, even though they have uh, a different uh, plot lands, but uh, those lands, those plot land, they have a smaller size compared to the lowland uh, because of. Uh, the dissections of the mountain uh, due to uh, the massive erosions and uh, due to that of the topographic situation. So uh, farmland are small in size in the highland from stand fragmented and tend to be irregular in shape, irregular in shape. Uh, due to the dissections of those mountain, those uh, the mountain sections uh, due to, by, by the erosion, by massive erosion. So uh, people who are living in the highland, they have uh, a different land features. Uh, even those land, those plot land, they have a, an irregular shape. They are not uh, just uh, uh, they, they are not found at the, the similar uh, position at the similar point. Uh, the choice of farming technique is different. Uh, this one technique. Uh, uh, for instance, the uh, farming technique in the highland, the farming technique in the lowland, uh, irrigation is possible in the lowland, mechanized agriculture is uh, by using the tractor uh, you can, possible to the lowland, but in the highland very difficult because of its topography and also the dissected land uh, and the size of the land by itself. So these are. Uh, in regular terrain, mechanized, uh, ter uh, me mechanized farming techniques are difficult to practice, but in the lowland, it can be possible. So you can. And also, in terms of this crop production, for instance, it's very different. The highland, there are uh, there are wheat and barley in the highland possible. The lowland, uh, there are sorghum and maize in the lowland. So uh, maize and sorghum, uh, it will not be adapted in the highland. So in this way, uh, the agricultural uh, agriculture has a direct, uh, direct or, uh, directly or indirectly affected by the relief. So you can understand animal husbandry also different in the highland, in the lowland. Highland, there are uh, ships, there are, uh, uh, there are uh, equines or there are horses, but the lowland, uh, there are goats and camels in the lowland. So this is an agricultural. Settlement pattern is also different. At the highland, there are sedentary wildlife. The people that are permanently lived in the highlands, uh, they are free from the disease. Climate condition is very, very favorable and crop production is uh, moderately supported at the highland uh, due to that of the rainfield agriculture. But the lowland people, they are not uh, dominantly settled or we, uh, they are temporary peoples or uh, scattered people that are living in the lowland. So these are uh, pastoralist uh, way of life, which is found in the lowland, but in this case, mixed uh, type of agriculture practice in the highland, both uh, crop production and uh, raining of animal uh, parallelly uh, performed by people who are living in the highland. So uh, you can see uh, the settlement pattern in the others. So in terms of settlement, sedentary way of life in the highland, this one is temporary way of life or scattered to people in the lowland. So uh, you can see. Uh, so this one, transportation and communication. Transportation is very uh, highly uh, dissected nature of, due to that of the highland, for instance, the transportation is uh, very difficult in the highland, lowland is uh, maybe, it is uh, possible. Uh, that is easily possible compared to when we outweigh to the highlands. So uh, go to the highland, there are uh, those land, they are dissected in different sections. So. Uh, those, uh, in terms of uh, uh, construction, highway construction or others, it is difficult to 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 uh, make an interconnection between the different section. It needs a larger numbers of bridges, and uh, that larger numbers of bridge, uh, it needs a high a high capital to construct. So that one. Uh, the other factors. Uh, so, and also there are, there are massive erosion. The highland it dissected uh, 
uh, into different direction, people unable to uh, access uh, easily to, to, to easily their families uh, from uh, one direction to the other direction. So uh, this is the other uh, hindrance factor in the highland. Uh, for instance, in terms of this communication, uh, in terms of TV communication, radio communication has a, a massively uh, affected or ha has uh, severely affected uh, at the highland than the lowland. So this one is the regular topography, the deep gorges and uh, the terrains of the mountain or the peaks of the mountain. It blocks the waves of the TV and the radio. So uh, this one, the uh, uh, the other characteristics. Go to the lowland, uh, it is free from the uh, obstacles or barriers to communicate uh, themselves. Hydroelectric power potential, in terms of hydroelectric power potential, most of the Ethiopian highlanders, uh, they are the source of uh, Ethiopian streams. Those streams, uh, it's, uh, uh, they are a tributary of our international river. So, uh, uh, in terms of hydroelectric power, it has uh, we have a good potential. Uh, so there are a number. Of, we do have a number of uh, hydroelectric powers uh, in terms of uh, topographic situation. So uh, this is uh, so the highland uh, is very uh, suitable for uh, hydroelectric power potential, uh, hydroelectric power generation. Uh, than the lowland, uh, this one. Uh, so uh, the social cultural feeling, there are uh, different, relief also has a social cultural feeling. Uh, for instance, people who are living in the highland, most of the time, uh, those people they call, we call as the highland people or the Genya people in Amari. And uh, people who are live, uh, uh, there, uh, live in the lowlands, most of the time we call those people uh, as uh, Kolenya people. So even the food style, the wearing style, the different character, their behavior is determined. The psychological, psychological uh, makeup also uh, determined in terms of this thinking different, different styles just uh, influenced influenced by uh, the topographic situation. So people who are living in the lowland, and the highland, they have a different uh, cultural aspects. Cultural aspects. So these are the most common uh, concepts. In terms of this climatic condition, we talk, we talked a uh, lots of time just uh, uh, the highland and the lowland characteristics. And so uh, the highland is very favorable and moderate uh, moderately uh, temperature below twenty degrees centigrade. In terms of rainfall, moderate rainfed agriculture is possible, but go to the lowland, it is impossible to undertake uh, a crop production uh, by using rainfed agriculture. Most of the temperature, uh, most of uh, the rainfall situation is below 250 millimeters uh, annually, and the temperature is greater than 30 and 35 in the lowland. So this is the different uh, in terms of this is uh, the different characteristics in terms of the topographic situations. You know, so uh, there are uh, the lowland, there are high evapot evapotranspiration, but in the highland it is low uh, compared to that. Uh, impact on the soil, uh, soil also, um, there are uh, soils uh, which is found in the highland mostly exposed for the se severe erosion. Uh, and it uh, transported easily uh, into the lowlands. Uh, but the lowland uh, soil uh, is uh, mostly their depositor soil or sedimented soil, uh, which is transported from the highland to the lowland. So loom soil is mostly characterized or found in the lowlands. Then, uh, so the highland is mostly, most of the time, uh, uh, the highland uh, soils uh, uh, mostly they are exposed for erosion. They are unstable soils over there. Uh, even uh, they are free from the loom soils or uh, this is uh, the uh, one character. In terms of the natural vegetations, in terms of uh, the natural vegetation, just uh, there are different types of natural vegetation uh, uh, are there in the lowlands for uh, uh, compared to the highlands. So. 
uh, from the highland most of the time uh, from the lower zone the middle zone to the higher zone there are different characteristics of vegetation which has a characteristic of the highland for instance when we go to the semen mountain there are uh, giant lobelia they are re recarborica and uh, there are short grasses uh, are there and uh, different flowering plants are there uh, mountains mountain plants uh, so uh, go to the lowland uh, most of the time uh, lowland is dominantly uh, has a species a plant species of uh, acacia tree cacti tree and uh, thorn bushes and also uh, is fato grass or long grasses here so these are uh, some of the natural vegetation which is uh, different from the highlands uh, in terms of this one. So you can do it. Uh, there are different questions from your material. You can do those questions uh, as a conclusion. And uh, just uh, for uh, this session, I thank you very much. Uh, just, uh, I thank you very much for, uh, and uh, lastly, I'm asking you to don't forget uh, to make like, uh, subscribe, and uh, uh, share for your friends. Uh, uh, doing such practice, uh, it will encourage me to do uh, the next uh, ch chapters. Thank you. I just uh, I have uh, uh, highly I I just uh, highly appreciate you to uh, uh, to to to, to uh, the presentation what I did uh, now. Uh, thank you. Have a nice time.